Daryl, thanks for joining us. Sum up your thoughts after that game tonight. Yeah, obviously disappointed we've uh, we've lost the game, but uh, as I say, I think what we needed to do when we got it back to two each, we just needed to make sure that we didn't concede a goal and against the in the, in the, in the first next five ten minutes, and we did that because we had the momentum. But uh, that's what top teams do; they, they punish you on the turnover, and they, they did that. So we're disappointed in the goals we conceded tonight, but certainly no disappointment in my lads. Commitment, desire, application. Thought all of that was spot on. And then it's just about improving the group and in, in, in getting better and better. And there's, there's two ways of doing that. It is one way where you spend loads and loads and loads and loads of money. We do it at a real, real pace that's, you know, s sustainable and, and, and moving forward. That Then we are competing with the bigger teams in this division. And that's the right way of doing it for our football club. So the lads can take confidence from that, that we, we're not a million miles away, the group's not. And, uh, We've shown, I think, in the first 14 games, 15 games of the season that we, we belong to this level. 34 minutes, you were absolutely superb and all of a sudden you found yourself two goals down, everybody's scratching their heads. Yeah, it is, but then you're looking for a response from your team that has shown on a, on a consistent that they, they do respond, they do keep going. Just today we, 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 we got outdone by a team that uh, really are clinical when, they, when the, the mistakes that we made, they punish. And two goals out of the side of half time. Did Gavin Massey's goal kind of change your thoughts and team talk at half time? Yes, yeah, certainly, because I think you get the goal and uh, it changes the momentum, swings in our favour a little bit. Then we start the second half bright, great strike by uh, Smithy. But then, like I said, the, the third goal, their third goal, should I say, that, that comes at a bad time for us. We've got momentum and it, you know, the atmosphere is bouncing, but we they're clinical with that, that third and that, that dampens the atmosphere a little bit and then we huffed and puffed a little bit like throwing a few dice with different players coming on and uh, didn't really get a, get a foothold in the game But the atmosphere inside the ground the fans really got behind the team even though you were trailing 3-2 at the time didn't you and you threw everything at them You've been outstanding uh, all season, well, since I've been at the football club to be honest with you and they keep backing the lads and why they back the lads is they, they know they're not leaving anything out there. They're giving everything. They just like we said, we just got to keep what myself and my coaching staff is up to us to keep getting the players better, fitter, stronger, technically better, and more organised as individuals and groups. And that's that's what we pay to do, and we'll keep working on. Gavin Massey, his first goal for the club, that'll do wonders for him. Now, hopefully, he can kick on from this. Yeah, Gavin's Gavin's an experienced player. He's probably our most experienced player at the level, and he's finding his feet nicely. He's uh, he's one of our more more talented players, gifted players that, that know more at this level and that rubs off onto the other boys and then the boys are working hard to, to prove themselves at this point. And a 500th career game for David Worrell. Just sum up what a character he's been in that dressing room for you. I love the lad and uh, so do the fans love him. You know, look how well he did for the for the first goal to, to climb above that, get a uh, sets up Gavin Macy. He, he, I don't see him, and I've picked him a lot of times in my teams. He's never not give everything for the for this year, and uh, that's why he gets 500 games under your belt because you have that attitude and desire to still keep going. Just how invaluable or valuable is his experience in that dressing room for you? Yeah, it is, and all the boys are all the boys have a role to play, a uh, different role, uh, different ages of the career, but they all have their part to play in in trying to move this club and keep improving it, and that's what we're, we're working hard to do. I guess it's a case now, just everybody get rested up after that performance you've put in tonight. There'll be one or two tiry legs tomorrow, won't they? But you go again on, on Saturday yeah, now. Yeah, no, we, we'll, uh, we'll get ourselves going. It's a big game on Saturday. I think Lincoln's won 1-0 today. A good away win for them. So we've got to be ready and at it for, for no, no games. In this league are, are easy and they come thick and fast and we, we need to be right at it against Lincoln at home. Another big crowd inside tonight and they certainly won't... Disappointed with the result, obviously, but obviously the, the performance and everything. They'll be back again, won't they? Yeah, we hope so. We, we hope they keep getting behind the boys. I'm sure they will. No injuries picked up tonight. Everybody okay? I don't know. You're asking me like ten minutes after the game, so I'll wait until you know. Give me, give me a breather, will you? You know what I mean? I'll get an injury report uh, later on this evening.